Hey Rifters, welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out Sledge Rift. Now I have previously done a review on this, but this game has been updated quite a bit in the last couple of months. All of the textures have been overhauled and redid completely, which makes the game look really freaking great. He's added a lot of new things like power-ups and leaderboards and several other things. But before I ramble on, let's go ahead and check out the game. Alright guys, I'm just going to go over a quick little review of this first area, then jump right into the game. He does have how to play right here. Not very complicated at all. All you got to do is turn your head left and right to move the sled once you get in the game. Now this first little area, you can use a controller or the keyboard and mouse to move around. I have to say I'm really impressed with the new textures. They they really look good in this. The archways and everything also look really great. But anyway, if if you do have an older version of the game, it will let you know right here. And you can go straight to the download play page. You do have the view distance settings. So those of you that don't have a really good computer or a really beastly computer, you can lower it down. We are going to leave it on 10. You can change your name and disable online. If you don't want to participate in the leaderboards or if you're just not playing online, you're going to want to disable that. This this here is actually the leaderboards. As you can see, these people have scored some pretty damn high scores. And there I am down on the fifth place. I haven't played it in a couple days, so some people have beat my scores. Currently, there is four different themes for level one. He does plan on adding new levels in the future. He does also plan on adding multiplayer at some time in the future, which is going to be freaking epic. Now, you do have the option of choosing your sled. You do have to buy these sleds with your coins that you earn while actually playing the game. I have already bought all of the sleds. So we are going to play something a little bit interesting, which is the cage. Cage makes it a little bit harder to play because the bars are in the way, but anyway, let's go ahead and start the game. Now when you start, you want to be looking straight forward. If you're not, if you hit R on the keyboard, it re will reset the orientation. As you can see, it tells you the high score for this level. Now as I said, you just move your head left and right to turn left and right. You don't tilt your head. I've seen a lot of people try to tilt their head when playing. You want to just look left and right. Now the more coins you get, the faster you move, so the difficulty does increase. The yellow coins are worth, I think, one point, and the blue coins are worth two. This thing here is the power-up, which is freaking epic because you haul ass. When you hit obstacles, you actually get points while using the power-up. Now the power-up may seem like you want to always get it, but at faster speeds the power-up becomes pretty hard to use because you're just going so damn fast that you end up running in this shit. Oh! Go ahead and hit another power-up. Now the levels are randomly generated so you'll never play the same level twice which is really good for replay value. The red coins increase your speed but you don't get as many coins. So if you like going fast, go ahead and get the red coins, but I don't want to go too fast yet. Oh, shit. No, I <laughs> don't want red coins. Uh, oh, crap. As you can see, the first part there shows your personal high score for this level. And as I said before, this is the online high score. We're going to go through this one more time. You can actually hold spacebar and actually look around without rotating the sled so that you can check out the sled and everything, which is a really nice little thing. So if you want to look behind you, you can. Or just check out the sled. The updated textures, as I said, really, really make this game a lot better. They weren't bad before, but... 
it's really nice to see these really clean textures and the archways above also look really nice. Go ahead and get a couple of these power-ups. If you're good enough, you can actually hit a couple power-ups in a roll, which helps a lot for getting lots of coins really quickly. Oh, as you can see, you don't want to hit the side, but I'm going to go ahead and exit back out here. Switch the level to Blizzard Night. This one's a lot harder because there's a bunch of snow and it's nighttime and... So we're going to get off of the cage since the cage is a little bit harder to use. The, the sleds at, the, at this time don't have any different statistics. I think in the future he does plan on add, adding different statistics for each sled. So we're going to do Jack's Pot of Gold. Now you can see your coins here, which I do have a lot because I have played this a lot throughout all the updates. Each level you do have to spend coins to pay to unlock it just like the sleds but anyway let's go back to blizzard night hit start look forward oh whoopsie i do have to hit use so you so it switches it's my bad All right, so the high score that needs to be beat is 248, which I doubt I'm gonna actually be able to do while recording because I'm talking and not really paying attention here. When you do get the, the power up, you gotta be careful that you're not looking left or right since it is so fast. You will tend to kind of run into the side of the wall and you don't wanna do that because you will lose. Now, like I said, he does plan on adding multiplayer in the future, which is going to be really fun playing versus people, just racing them down so you can get the many, as many coins. I'm not exactly for sure how what the objective is or how it's going to work. Oh, crap. Let's try this again. He has been updating this game every week for about a month now. And each time he updates, he's fixing bugs, he's adding new stuff, adding new sleds. He's really working on this a lot, and I really can't wait to see where this is actually going to go in the future. The 3D effect in here looks really, really good. I've actually tried playing this without having the rift on, just holding the rift. It is extremely freaking hard. The 3D effect actually really helps seeing depth. And being able to look left and right with your head is a lot easier than using your hands. Oh, whoa. I tend to try to stay on one side or the other normally. Because it's a little bit easier to avoid obstacles if you're not right in the middle, or for me it is at least. Oh, oh crap. What did I get? To? Ooh! Got the new high score! Woo! Alright, on that note, we are going to exit out. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that you can click here as you can see now I'm on the top here and high score of 286 which is really cool I really didn't think I'd be able to beat somebody's high score while recording which is very cool now there's some other things that the developer said that he did plan on doing in the future I think he eventually at, plans on adding a town where you can walk around and you go to each different level and each level has these different themes like this one does. But I, 
not sure if I'm supposed to be talking about what exactly he's going to add, so I will leave that up to him. The music on here is also really great. It goes great with the game. Everything, everything works really well. He did recently fix the skybox, which was a problem with a lot of Unity games where the skybox doesn't match up with the left and right eye. So that is really great that you can actually look up now and you don't have to worry about having that weird view. Hey, snowman. There's a sledge for sledge rift. There is also currently some hidden snowmen around this room. I'm not going to show you guys where they're at. I'll leave that up to you for you guys to actually find. Now, I don't want this video to run on and on. Since I did get a high score, I'm actually pretty happy that I was able to beat that. So guys, go ahead and download this game. I will leave links below for it. Go ahead and try to beat my high scores if you can, or beat the other people's high scores. Remember, if you do have a slower computer, you can you can tune down the view distance here, which is a great option because I know not everybody has a really good gaming rig, so that's great for everybody all around. But anyway, guys, as always, if you have any comments, questions, or game requests, please post them below. If you like this video and would like to see more videos, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys.